So with with Cher, could we give her the benefit of the doubt that even if she said something we felt like was insensitive, can we at least look at what her intentions were? Or do we have to say, because you didn't hit the mark like we think you should hit the mark, you're wrong? Ooh, uh, Cher is under fire because of a tweet that she put out. First of all, watching the uh, Derek Chauvin uh, trial it, it's been it, it's been it's very triggering for me, um, and I've really been trying to protect my peace as much as I can. But you try to stay informed, but just reliving that and the mm. testimonies and everything is a lot. So Cher, uh, Miss, do you believe in love? She said she was watching it. And she was with her mother, and she said this on Twitter. She says, I watched the trial of the policeman that killed George Floyd, and I cried. Uh, I said, Mom, I know this is going to sound crazy, but first of all, her punctuation is just terrible. Just throw that out there real okay, quick. Okay, go ahead. But I kept thinking, maybe if I'd been there, I could have helped. Wow. Now, Twitter went totally bananas. Oh, so we need a white savior? Uh -oh. You try to come in and save the day? And my question is a simple one. Do you feel that we are maybe a little too sensitive about this tweet from Cher? Uh, yes and no. Okay, so one thing, the audacity. <laughs> the blast. The uh, unmitigated gall. <laughs> oh my, if I had been there, things would have been different. No, it would have been the same thing. You had your phone out recording with everybody else. But that's not what she else. said, though. That's not what she said. But I know that's how people are taking it, the people that are upset. Yeah. But then in another space, I feel like, just say that to your mama. Right. Just, you have to just, tweet it. That's just your, you and your mom sitting there talking. Say that to her. You know Twitter's going to go crazy. It's too many massive people following you that are just going to think different things. So that's just one of those things like... If you have to think about your tweet before you tweet it, put the phone down. But I don't think she th thought about it. And I mean, she it clearly was, did not think about it. It was her Good thought. Enough. She was like, "This is the way I feel," and she and she tweeted it. I think I think it came from a genuine place. Mm -hmm. it, when she was typing it, she was like, "Oh, I feel so bad. I wish I could have done something." And then it ended up coming out her fingers, and it did not sound like mm. how it sounded in her head no. on a tweet. You know what I'm saying? So I think you know, like, do I think we're being too sensitive? Um. Weave it, but I do think that we, as uh, the oppressed people mm -hmm. in the country, I do think we have the right to say, if you want to support us and you would like to show up for us, this is what we need you to do. Mm -hmm. Because let's right. be clear, it ain't gonna happen without white people. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's their system. They are the ones enforcing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need their help. Well, she continued on and she put another tweet. She said, "Wrestled with wrestled with this tweet because I thought some people wouldn't understand or believe an entertainer could have been on could have honest emotions about a human being suffering." And dying, oh my gosh, it's the punctuation for me. Even if it's only shown on TV, you don't know what I've done, who I am, or what I believe. I can, I have, and I will, dot, 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 help. Dramatic text, share, throw it out there, dramatic. That was very dramatic. And then she talked about how I got on the phone with my friend, Karen, that's wow. hilarious, <laughs> who told her what happened and realized, hey, you can piss people off and hurt them by not knowing everything that's not appropriate to say. I know people apologize when they're in a jam, but hand to God with the emojis and everything. I'm truly sorry if I upset anyone in the black community. I know my heart. All right, so, okay, I get it. I know, I feel what you're saying as well. To me, I, you know, hey, listen, I get what everybody is saying, but to, to me, the challenge is, if honestly you were, if your intention was, hey, I'm just saying what I feel as I'm watching this, and if I could have been there, would I have, could I have helped? Is there something I could have said? Maybe would they have saw me and would have paused or whatever? I, I don't know. But I think that when I was watching it on television myself, mm -hmm. it brought me to tears to imagine what it would have happened if I was there. Mm -hmm. It brought me to tears because I know me. Mm -hmm. Yo, Rod, Tiny, I know me. Mm -hmm. And to watch that happening, wow, boy, this is tough. It's rough. So with, with Cher, could we give her the benefit of the doubt that even if she said something we felt like was insensitive, can we at least look at what her intentions were? Or do we have to say, because you didn't hit the mark like we think you should hit the mark, you're wrong? And I don't know. I'm not in, I don't believe that I'm in that place. Nah, nah, that's, that's why I said it was a yes and no. I, when I say yes and no to uh, a question like that, I know that I can see how both sides see it. I know the people that feel like, oh, she was absolutely wrong. She shouldn't have said that. And then on the other side, I can be like, I know what she meant. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just really logical with things like that. I, I know no. what she meant, but that's when the ones put the, put the phone down. Yeah. Say it to your mama and keep it at home. 
you're right. I mean, there's some things you're right you, that you should you should never say. And you know, in this case, was she trying to be the white savior though? I don't know. I, don't think, I, don't I think, think she, she just think genuinely felt sad, and she was like, "Dang, I wish there was something I could do." It just was. It didn't execute yep. like that. It yeah. just didn't come out the way she thought it would. It's the Katie Bo Show.